What's Hello. up, gamers? <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Domain. This is a uh, pretty exciting video. For one, we are about to get in a car and drive all the way to Impact Props House. Brad, we're coming for you. Ten and a half hours we're away. Coming. Yeah, we're going to go live with Chief for a while. First, we really wanted to show off our Black Friday haul. Oh, it was good. It was incredible, it was a, it was actually. Day. It was incredible. We've been reflecting recently on the joy of the hunt. Yes. Right? Going to targets, you know, especially... I I'm sure a lot of people can relate if you have loved ones, if you have girlfriends, if you have even family members who are like, well, you just go to 20 uh, targets and get I nothing. I know where you're going to I the know. toy aisle. I know. Hear me out. 19 out of 20 targets will be a bust every yep. single time. Yep. That one target, that beautiful little cherry on top will deliver some exceptional deals. We went around on Black Friday and spent silly money. Well, it wasn't yeah. even that, you know. No, no we got There were so many deals. good deals, we but, yeah, really we, we, but we did buy a lot. Kind of expected to be on a Black Friday. Only it's because, so because if you expect that 19 out of 20 stores will end in a bust, when you find something, you buy it. Yep, gotta get but it. But what happens if you find six stores in a row that stock incredible stuff? It's a struggle. You spend a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna talk through very quickly a huge haul, then we're gonna get on the road to Impact Props. Woo -woo. And I did a video a few days ago, Black Friday Deals, the best ones you can find on the internet, most of those. Actually, uh, fun little fact, I screwed myself over with that video because I did a top Black Friday <laughs> Deals video, but I was so intent on getting it out on time that I didn't put purchase the things I wanted to purchase and then by the time I got the video out it was like an hour later and I was like oh I gotta finish my checkout and then everything had already increased. I'd inflated the price and screwed myself. Look what, you, look what happens uh, when you let everybody know. How could this happen to me? Alright so let's check out this haul. Okay, so I'm gonna start this video by checking out this haul here. I met a great guy called Justin. Uh, we actually got a drink with him last night at a local bar, and we traded a lot of stuff. I gave him some PAX sealed figures, and he gave me this haul of Blind Bags Heroes and other figures. It's actually exceptional, especially- Oh, oh, the Echo series. They were from Jordan. They were from Strandy, yeah. Strandy gave me four Echo series he found in a Dollar General, but the rest of it is from Justin. Uh, it was actually a really great, great trade, and he also got me two, uh, of the battlescapes as well. Ooh. The snowbound and the original battlescape. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with those because they will not fit in my uh, suitcases. All right, so in general, we went to three GameStops, two Targets, and two half price books. The first GameStop yielded this beautiful item here, the Halo 4 Master Chief. Because really, you've got to pay respect to Halo 4, you know? I think we all, as a community, owe Halo 4 an apology. Would you agree, Strandy? I would agree. It, dude, and especially as of late, if you guys watched our uh, top ranking of the 20 character pack, yeah, yeah, yeah. we agreed that that Halo 4 Chief, dude, it's, it it's, was exceptional. it's actually it was really exceptional. good. Yeah, so Halo 4 Chief is, uh, it, 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 it holds a special place in people's hearts. It's where, you know, I really got into Halo. Like, I, you know, I, I was hugely into Halo on Halo 3 and Reach, but then Halo 4, I just deep dived for a long time. The Railgun and the Sticky Detonator, it's just a great nod to the past. Two really great weapons to add to the Halo sandbox, for sure. But really what I was looking for was Carter. Now, Carter would basically complete my Noble Team. I still do need Cat, but Cat is like so cheap to find. I've not uh, bothered tracking her down yet because I know I can get her. So Carter is basically the only noble team member I need. That and Linda. I would love to get Linda for my blue team. So I was particularly on the hunt for these two. And GameStop had a deal where you could order them online, but I, as a UK citizen, can't order from GameStop online. It won't accept any UK cards. Strandy was going to pick them up for me, but I was like, let's just wait till after Black Friday. So we got the chief, and I also got this Jumbo Escherim for only 11 bucks. 11 bucks for this dude. I don't collect Funkos, but I mean, come on. Big monkey, big angry monkey. Absolutely. This was from GameStop in Mall of America, wasn't it? And yeah. this one was from a GameStop outside of Mall of America. Yeah. Then this one was from the next GameStop. This was on Black Friday itself. And the Spanker rocket launcher was only four bucks. 420. We were able 420. to convince her to drop it down eight cents. Mm, 420. So, I mean, four dollars for this is just so much fun. I already have one of these. But for four dollars. Yeah, no, you know, I, I would just never say no. There's so many people in England that would love that as a present. So, I'm just going to keep that for now. And of course, Jordan had to get one as well. So, yeah, no, uh, super excited to have it. I've actually just picked up most of the Nerf 
Halo weapons at this right. point. From me, you bought yeah. you bought the assault rifle, you, uh, the bulldog, and the uh, mangler. Mangler from me, yeah. So yeah, so I've got almost all of them. Just the need the needler. Just the needler. Well, both kinds of needler. So I was telling Ooh. Simon since he was here that he has to check out this half price books place. And Is he... half price books like across America? Or... No, nah, it's a Minnesota chain. Minnesota chain, it's phenomenal. Yeah, like I've, it's so impressive, half price books. So we've never seen this before, right? Never saw. It you want to open it up? Yeah. So it's basically just a deep dive into individual Halo ships and like shows what the insides look like. Remarkable. Absolutely insane detail in this stuff. This went for $7. $7. For this whole thing. It's it was a great price. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, a great price. Love that foreigner uh, sort of architecture there. That's not the only thing you got from Half Price Books. So I was also able to pick up New Blood. Uh, New just, Blood is my favorite Halo dude, novel so for the, the record. So continuing story of uh, Alpha 9. Just a great story about how they became Spartans. So. Yeah, and it has June in it. Like, it's a good yep, one. Yep, June comes back. First time we really saw him back into the lore. It was pretty sweet. But what's underneath that? So underneath that this is The Last Ronin, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic book series. I've been looking for this thing. This thing usually retails at $40. Mm. And the general idea is that there's only one turtle left. 40 down to 17. 17. Amazing. I picked up something else from Half Price Books. Um, <laughs> this is a, an original Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace Comtech action figure. Comes with a little data reading chip so you can have, uh, you know, Obi Wan say the actual voice lines from the game. I've always wanted to uh, get one of these. Uh, and it was hilarious because I got this for $10, which I thought was a great price. And I sent it to Kevin Hood and I was like, can you believe this? He was like, dude, that's worth like $2. I'm like, damn. <laughs> but I'm still happy to get it sealed. It's it's a lot of fun. Now, this is the big Target haul because we went to Target. You know, we actually made a joke at the door. We were like, if they have the Pokeball, we have to buy it. But we don't want to buy it. Right. We were like, we don't need this. We've already spent a, quite a bit of money that day. Yeah, so we were like, we don't need this. But it was on Black Friday for $17, which is really, really great. And we were like, well, like, we, we, we don't need this thing. And then, of course, fate would say that there were two. We turned the Ugh, corner. We missed it, it like three times. Turned the corner. Simon goes, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh. dude. But here's a big win. Recon Getaway for 10 bucks. I know Recon Getaway is getting a bit old now, but I mean, $10 is $10. And One. in the future, this will definitely be worth 20 25 Like, and also... The figures, man. One of the best army building sets they've ever come out with. One of the best elites ever made. The grunt is just fine, but they're one of the best elites ever made. And then these two marines, one of them has shoulders, which uh, most figures, including all marines from blind bags, don't have shoulders. So it's just a great set. And I I'd like a little armory with some mongooses in the future. That's why I got three. You can't turn down a price like that. Like, you can't turn down. <laughs> hey. Oh, God. That hurt my brain. The reindeer. The, the reindeer. <laughs> uh, Sean W, that goes out to you. And also Polaroid film was incredibly cheap there. Only 15 bucks, which is amazing. And then we decided to go to one more GameStop. We made a last ditch effort. Yeah, one more GameStop. What did they have in that GameStop? The best haul we had all night. Da, 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 da. Ah. So beautiful. The last GameStop, just to kind of mock me really, had Carter, and Linda. And we price match them online for 19 bucks a piece. Carter. Ah, oh, it looks so good. The packaging as well. Just, uh, I love the new design they've gone for with like, sort of like the Oni Intel kind of forerunner blues and blacks. There's only room for one monkey in this house, but Strandy got one as well. Yeah. So the funny part was when we picked yeah. up the first one, uh, you were kind of disappointed I got I, it. Yeah, I, for, for $10, so they yeah. had a clearance 50% off this. For $10, it's really hard to turn down a big pop figure mm. like this. And Simon was able to take the first one. So it was funny because I took the first one, Strandy was disappointed, and the guy was like, well, I've got another one in the back. So he, he went looking for it, couldn't find it, and was like, oh, never mind, I guess I don't have it. Then another guy just found it in the store on a shelf. So he bought it. So Strandy was kind of extra salty. And then in the last right store, there. in the last store, not only do I find my Carter and my Linda that I've been searching for for months, Strandy finds the second monkey. So we each have one. Absolutely mm -hmm. hilarious. And then there's one more thing to show off, which is pretty wild. I love collecting old copies of Halo games. I'm trying to amass a collection of every Chinese release of Halo games. I got a lot of different ones. I've got some pre-sale ones. I got some employee only copies 
copies of CE and Halo 2. Like, I love that stuff. But this one was pretty cool. I mean, it's just a copy of Halo Reach, right? Like, we've all seen Halo Reach. But in America, you have this bonus Spartan Recon Helmet sticker. We don't have this sticker in England. Like, we, st I think we still got it, but we didn't have this on the box. So, this is an American copy, which is pretty cool. But I wouldn't pay $10 for it, because, like, it is an old game. But, Strandy was like, well, do you think they've got any of the manuals inside? Inside, first of all, the disc is like really good quality, uh, no scratches there. And we do have the standard instruction manual. But then, inside, oh baby, oh baby, the Halo Reach Recon. Not only is this uh, gorgeous and mint condition, the code is unused, 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 unused. Unbelievable. I think I'm just gonna like pop this in a cute little frame, I don't know, because uh, it's, it's, Recon is, uh, sort of, in my opinion, Recon is the, uh, most iconic piece of old school Halo, Bungie Halo, like, Recon is their thing. So, uh, pretty fun to have, and also fun to have an American copy of the game. Maybe one day I'll compare the two boxes, see if they're, uh, any different. Ten dollars? You can't argue. I mean, you can't argue about any of this. I don't remember the last time I got such a good haul. Like, this is... Really exciting. Again, we don't usually score that well. Collectible piece after collectible piece, all reduced on Black Friday, store after store after store, really worth our while. So, uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Thanks for Strandy helping out a little bit. But yeah, we got a lot of exciting projects ahead. We're gonna have this amazing collab happening with Impact Props this week. Life is good, no? Life is good. Get lots of Halo, get big belly full of collectibles. But an empty wallet. It's a fair trade-off. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. The domain is signing off.